Hello there kitties, I'm Kerry, the Vacuum Tube Witch and today I've got a massage device that I need to repair the cable is broken so let's do a little turn down see what's inside I've never even uh, opened uh, this device so I'm equally curious about uh, what's going on in it. So let's go to the bench. My cat was uh, actively making it harder to get the thing to the bench. But, of course, let's start by <coughs> unscrewing the, the first screws. This is pretty obvious. None of that unobtainium uh, screwdriver rubbish. And it looks like most of the device uh, is on the lower part with a big, big, big motor. And the rest of the device is uh, on uh, the upper part. The connections are glued with, with some gunk. And that's uh, that's how it looks. There's uh, there's gunk all over the place, uh, preventing the screws from uh, coming undone. But I will discombobulate it anyway. Or maybe I will not, because it's a little bit more complicated than I thought. So, for the moment, I will just stick with the two parts of the enclosure <coughs> connected together. Let's get to the proper damage. It's the mains board. Then the filter and fuse. We've got um, we've got a coil. We've got a capacitor. We've got a ferrite bead that uh, looks uh, broken. Not a good sign. I will remove the fractured parts, but I should uh, replace the ferrite bead uh, altogether. It's just for a nice suppression. It's not critical and it's not important for safety, but it would be good to replace this thing but 
what I need to do is uh, unsoldering the main cable. Which is made uh, slightly more difficult because of the glue on. Uh, it's more like solvent glue rather than uh, hot melt. have some more damage on the cable inside the enclosure and I, uh, I assume that uh, the cable got a little bit damaged uh, under stress uh, in this point I will cut off this part and uh, try to recover the strain relief to remove the remaining outer insulation mm, this is getting a little bit harder than I thought have to use the drill I'm a problem solver, not a fighter. Let's just try the drill.
should be good enough. So back to our cable. Came in pretty nicely. It's time to reconnect this thing. So anyway, what's inside this massage device? There's the filter board, like I mentioned. There's the control board. If I can remove it from the enclosure. There's some other board that looks like it has two coils uh, and probably um, probably an, uh, a pair of capacitors. So this is just a filter board. Also a ground wire going to the motor's enclosure. This is a cold joint that looks pretty wrong. This should be soldered to the brass part. Let me try fixing it.
Okay, work fast not to damage the plastic. And it's fixed. So let's take a look at the control board. We've got a sliding switch, with a uh, corresponding uh, slider accessible from the outside. It's dusty as hell, and let me just wipe this thing. The enclosure wasn't too well protected against the ingress of dust. It's lubricated with silicone grease or something similar. There's also some resistors and capacitors. A full bridge rectifier. And a fire restor for a face control of the motor with this with this dial. It's a potentiometer. And then the switch um, is for the heater. And then the heater is placed uh, below the motor. And there's a pair of wires uh, going to the heater. So uh, those would be um, heater contacts. Time to put the cover back in place. And reinstall the board. Reinstalling the filter board, there's also an insulating foil between the board and the motor. the wires uh, underneath
And now for the strain relief. All it takes is putting the wire against against those posts. This goes out here. Time to make sure that no wire is gonna be trapped underneath uh, plastic. Put it back together. It was just the switch. The switch uh, chooses between functions. Turning off, massaging only and uh, massaging with heating. So it's gonna be time to test this thing. put my hand in here like it should be when using us set it to massaging and it's vibrating you can see it vibrating ooh like a magic wand I've got some magic wands here in my place. And let's try some heating. But it will take some time to get the heating going. I can I can feel it's somewhat warmer and the head it can also be unscrewed This, this should be the metal part inside the head for heat transfer to the head. This is unscrewed um, in order to wash this thing. And there's the rubber cover against uh, the ingress of, of dust and other kinds of nasty stuff. That would be it. Pretty nice and simple device. 
I was wondering what's inside. And now my curiosity has been satisfied. So, see you next time. Stay determined and carry on.